Alright guys, I'm going to do my best to explain how to update a KISS ESC. This is in fact a version 1.01. .01. Uh, the sticker got ripped off by the double sided tape. Uh, you can do this on the quad. Uh, I would suggest removing your motor and removing the signal wire is a must. So if you're doing it on your quad, remove the signal wire and I would suggest removing your motor because if anything goes wrong. Uh, the motor is more than likely going to go up with it. Um, you're going to need an FTID adapter. You're going to need a serial monitor of some sort. This is Arduino. And you're going to need the flash loader demonstrator. Uh, so I already did the legwork. Uh, you're going to need to hook the ground up to ground. Um, and from the FTID adapter, you're going to need to hook the RX to the TX of the ESC and from the TX from the FTID adapter you're going to need to hook to the RX of the ESC you're going to need to power the ESC um, so first what you're going to want to do is we need to find the serial number of the ESC and that's what the serial monitor is for so what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into the computer and we're going to plug the LiPo in and we're going to give it five seconds before we try and do anything. So now that we got it plugged in, I'm going to the serial monitor and we are going to type info. I-N-F-O and hit enter. It's going to spit out the information. As you're going to see here, the max use voltage is not zero. This is the only way you're going to know if it's updated, is this is going to turn to zero. It's not going to change the version because all we're doing is putting the bootloader on. So what we need here is the serial number. We're going to want to copy that. Now that we have the serial number copied, let's go this is a hex file generator I'll try and put all the links below and we're going to enter it into the serial number and I'm going to hit get hex file and it gave me a hex file so this hex file is in my downloads let's delete the old one because an old one will not work you need to do this for each and every individual ESC. An old hex file will not work. So now that I have it, let's disconnect the ESC, unplug the battery, unplug the USB. Now we need to jump the bootloader. These pads. you guys can even see this so now that we did that we can use the flash loader demonstrator again we're gonna plug in the USB we're gonna plug in the lipo and we're gonna give it five seconds now we're going to the flash loader it doesn't find it. Let me restart it. And there we are. COM port 3. We're going to hit next. Uh, we're going to want to remove the protection. Hit OK. It says the target is readable. Next to proceed. And we're going to want to choose the target it gives us. We're going to hit next. And then instead of the erase option, we're going to hit download to device. And we're going to point to the file that we downloaded. In my case, it's in my downloads. It's a hex file. So now that I have it, 
I'm going to open it. And we're going to proceed and hit next. And there we have it. We flashed the ESC. And we're going to make sure that this worked by closing out of this and unplugging everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check the serial monitor again one last time. But first, we need to unbridge the solder joint that we did on the ESC. Awesome. Now we're going to plug it in, wait for five seconds, both the LiPo and the USB. Now we're going to do the same thing with the serial monitor. If it would pop up. Great. So we're going to open Arduino again. This is why I hate using PCs. I'm going to type info. Enter. And there we have it. We have updated ESC. Max used voltage zero. That's the only thing that you're going to notice different. But this ESC is upstate, updated. I uh, hope this helped you guys. Uh, install this in your craft and fly away. Enjoy. Bye.